Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a quick little video for you to show you a few ways that you can use to store your wigs. So wigs are an investment. We all know wigs can be super expensive and pricey. So you want to invest in the care for your wig as well. So you want to make sure you store it properly and maintain it so you can promote the longevity of your wig and make sure it lasts a really long time. So I'm going to show you a few options that you can use to store your wigs. Okay, so one option is, hello, <laughs> is to keep your head, oh, not your head, your wig on a mannequin head. So this is this girl right here. She is naked, but um, here, I'll show you what she looks like without the wig. So this is just a mannequin head like this. I'll link it below where you guys can get something like this. They have different faces, different skin colors and stuff like that. So you can pick one that you like or one that looks like you. And she has a little grip on her head so the wigs stay on pretty well. So I'm just going to put this wig back on. So I like these because their heads are pretty much the same size as human heads. So it does keep the shape of the wig really well. And I do like that they kind of, I mean, they have a face so they kind of have a personality. So you can kind of see what the hair would look like on a face, if that makes sense. So yeah, I think it's cute that she has a face, but I wouldn't have too many of these because I think it's a little creepy that they stare at you like while you sleep. <laughs> but yeah, this is the first option. And for the second option, similar to the mannequin head I just showed you, you can also use a styrofoam head like this. Don't mind mine, she's really dirty because I dyed some wigs on it. But yeah, there are a few different styrofoam heads you can get. You can get ones with a longer neck if you have a longer hair wig or a short neck like this. The only thing about these is that they are styrofoam, so they're super light, and I feel like they kind of tend to knock over. But other than that, they are a nice, cheaper alternative to the wig head I just showed you. Up next, I have these little hangers I found on Amazon. So they look like this. You can hang wigs or hats on them. So this is what they look like. And I'll show you what it looks like with a wig on. I have one right here. Here she is. So you literally just plop the wig on and you can hang it in a closet. Like imagine having a closet full of wigs. This is like gonna be my life's goal. Wait till you see my wig closet. <laughs> but these are pretty easy to put together. I'll show you a little clip of me assembling it. You just kind of slide the one piece into the other and then you put the little circle ring on top. So pretty quick and easy. The only thing I'm not really loving is how the wig is sitting on the actual stand I think you can kind of tell it's a little like lumpy and bumpy so if you really want to maintain the shape of your wig I would definitely recommend one of the mannequin head options but this is definitely a nice option if you don't have a space for a mannequin head or you kind of want to I don't know hang it up different you know different options for different things so there's another one all right and lastly I want to show you this so this is a silk lined wig bag this is from a company called Silky Sacks so personally, I would use something like this for traveling. I often take my wigs to photo shoots and traveling with me. But if you don't have room for the mannequin heads or they're not really your thing, you can definitely use something like this at home as well. You can like lay your wigs really nicely in a drawer. And the great thing about these is that they come lined in silk. And there are so many benefits to keeping your wigs and your hair in silk. Silk helps to retain the moisture in your hair, reduces frizz, reduces breakage. That's why it's recommended that you sleep on like a silk pillowcase at night. It's so much better for your skin and for your hair as well versus sleeping on like a cotton pillowcase because cotton will kind of, it will absorb the moisture from your skin and from your hair, which in turn causes breakage and stuff like that. So something like this is really great to keep your hair in. And like I said before, I like to use these kind of bags for traveling. Okay, so what I used to use before, don't judge me, but I used to use these like cheapy little bags that you get at like the beauty supply store when you buy your hair. And I would just like throw my wigs in here. But girl, if you're spending like hundreds of dollars or even thousands of dollars on a wig, I think it's really worth it to like invest in good quality materials and proper storage. And this is like really well made. On the outside, it's like this nice velour and then the silk inside. And what I like about this too is that I feel like these are really innovative. They have these little clips inside. So instead of just throwing your wig into the, the bottom of the bag, which is something I would do, you can actually take these clips and clip your wig on the inside so it kind of like lays straight, if, you, if that makes sense. I'll kind of show you what I mean. So what you can do is you just turn the bag inside out and lay it down and open up the clips. And then what you can do is just clip the front of the wig to the bag and then you take your hand inside and pull the bag inside out. 
and then voila your wig is sitting nicely in the bag it's not gonna get super tangly or anything like that and then when you're ready you can just totally unclip it and slide it out of the bag so this is what it looks like right now and these do come in different sizes so depending on the length of your wig so I actually got the medium size so this is what it looks like for reference and this one fits this wig perfectly so this is my freedom couture wig I think this one is maybe 14 inches I don't know exactly but this is kind of for reference but these do come in small medium large and extra large so I can list all the different sizes down below and she also makes little bags for hair extensions as well so not just wigs but you can also store your hair extensions in something like this so I think that's really great alright so those were just four different options that I use to store my wigs let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite or if you guys have any questions at all leave them in the comments down below as well and if you haven't subscribed already please do and I will see you in my next video bye